Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today, we're checking into the Explorer Lodge Hotel at Hong Kong Disneyland Resort. This is basically an Adventureland themed hotel, and we're excited to explore it all from the elevators to the beautiful gardens and more. We'll give you a tour of our sea view room that might have a little surprise for Kitra that involves Duffy. Speaking of which, it turns out Duffy and friends are a huge thing here in Hong Kong, maybe even bigger than in Japan. So there's a lot of merch to check out in the gift shop. We'll have lunch at the Hong Kong Disneyland hotel where they offer dim sum with themed dishes and bows. Come with us on this adventure. So today we're leaving our hotel in Hong Kong, but we're going to check in to our hotel. Hong Kong Disneyland. Yes. Yay. So excited. <laughs> Originally we were going to take the train but I think maybe we'll just do an Uber. I know we're setting a bad example here, but we have a lot of luggage. Yeah, I just don't want to carry my luggage. That's yeah. the only reason. <laughs> so we have arrived at Hong Kong Disneyland at our hotel, the Explorer's Lodge. And checking is in, until 3 p.m. So they have checked our luggage. And I guess we're gonna explore the hotel. Grab some food, check out the merch, then eventually check in and show you our room. We're here. We made it to, to Hong excited? Kong. Yes, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I already found my first hidden Mickey. I mean, it's not really that hidden, but I looked all throughout the flooring here and this was the only one I found. So <laughs> I'm not telling you where it is. You're gonna have to find it yourself when you come here. This is cool. It kind of reminds me of like a mini Animal Kingdom Lodge at Walt Disney World. It's like come Wilderness on. Lodge meets Animal Kingdom Lodge. It is. I love it. And it smells so good in here. Oh gosh, I'm excited. It, it finally hit me that we're here. Look who's Kitcher's found already. Yeah, Duffy. So they have these things set up of all the different characters, like all their outfits and stuff that they need to explore. And this is Mickey's area, it even has his shoes. And of course Duffy's there because Duffy is Mickey's best friend. That mouse has some big shoes. He does. <laughs> oh look, it's a reference to Steamboat Willie. If our friend's views and cues were here, they would decipher these flags. I'm sure it says Mickey. Found Donald's area. I love that he has like a cute photo of Daisy. <laughs> And he's apparently a camera guy? I didn't know that. Yeah. We're learning so much about the Disney characters today. Like, this is like me, he likes to capture the adventure. Yes. So this hotel is their newest hotel and I've heard it's their best hotel. The theme is that if you're an explorer, this is where you stay. Adventureland is like one of my favorite lands, so this is like up my alley. Well, I was gonna say, you know that we're adventurers and we're explorers, so of course we'd stay here. I'm learning so much about Mickey and friends today. Who knew Minnie was an artist? She's like a painter. She even drew Duffy. Yeah, when the camera was turned off, he like looked over to me and he's like, who knew that Minnie was such a good artist? I was like, okay, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Goofy's a pilot. We already knew that. I went to Sky School many times in Disney California Adventure. Yeah, he's not a very good pilot from, yeah. my, from my recollection, but I love that he's into aviation. And of course, he has some big <laughs> shoes as well. Yeah, probably the biggest. So in case you're wondering, this hotel is about $200 to $300 a night. We paid $274 for our room, which was not the cheapest available at the time. We just got a better view. And we've told, been told that the best time of the year to come to Hong Kong Disneyland is between like November and April, because that's like the dry season and it's not too hot and humid. So we're here on like a non-peak time. So we got the hotel map. It looks like it's split into different sections, Africa, South Africa, Asia, and Oceania. <laughs> I don't know. Yep. What is Oceania? I don't know. We found this list of activities happening around the hotel. This one looks pretty good. Duffy's fans tasty. Looks like some kind of picnic or something that's Duffy themed. Look at the cookie decorating class. Oh my gosh. What is that? There's a cute quest. Yeah, we might have to do that if we have time. But look, you can even draw a Disney character or make balloons. That's cool. So beyond the lobby, there's a place called Dreamer's Lookout and they sell a bunch of like little chocolates, 
they're all decorated so nice and neat. Yeah, there's like these cute little Mickey-shaped truffles, and they even have like chocolate drinks, like hot chocolate and a little fondue, fondue kit. Fondue kit. They're so cute. Why can't we have stuff like this <laughs> in America? Yeah. <laughs> we haven't had breakfast, but our lunch is in about 45 minutes at a different hotel. But before that, maybe we can find the gift shop and see yeah, what's in the gift let's shop. let's look around a little bit more. As tempted as I am by those chocolates, maybe I'll get some at some point during our visit. Found another one right there. So Duffy and friends are really huge here, just like in Japan. So it's going to be a problem for Ketra, is what I'm basically saying. This is our first glimpse at the merch, and I already see... 10 different Duffy and Friends headbands that I need to purchase. Look at all these different shoulder pets they have. They have these cute little Chippendales. <gasps> they have Duffy. They have all the Duffy characters. <gasps> Look at how he's laying. He could be like laying on your shoulder like. That's so cute. This is a problem. I don't need, I don't need shoulder pets. I don't, I can't even wear them with my backpack, but I, it's so cute. They got Cookie Ann. I know, they have them all. And of course they have my favorite, Alumel. Oh. <laughs> Look at Gelatoni. Set sail for your next adventure. <gasps> this is literally talking about our YouTube channel. Is he not? Oh no, is, did this just turn into a Duffy merch video? <laughs> like, what is happening? Oh no. What is going on here? He's like in a bone? This is like a pillow, I think, right? Now I'm like realizing I really didn't, ha I don't have enough room for all the stuff that I'm gonna get. Like, See, I convinced you to bring less clothes so you would have more room. Yeah, so. like I have a lot of room, trust me, because we packed very light, but like now just looking around, I'm like, we might have to buy a whole separate suitcase, and I'm not even joking. I have a problem. Oh my god, they have that thing here where you can make your own headband. I just like picked this up and I was like, what is this? But it has a little loop on it and you put it on the headband. Oh my god. So you put whatever characters you want. So they have Judy and Nick Hops, they have Forky, they have Ham, they have Lotso, they have Jesse, Duffy, Shelly Mae, Olu, Cookie Ann. You got it. What's Come her name? On. Stella Lou. Stella Lou. Yeah. Lena Bell. Lena Bell. Dumbo. Yeah. Um, Timothy. Timothy Chippendale. And Pooh and Stitch. Would it be cute to have like Chippendale as like Mickey ears and then have like Duffy and Shelly Mae as Mickey ears or should I just put a whole bunch on a headband? I think you should just put a whole bunch. Although, like, I feel like if you're gonna put a whole bunch, you, you may as well just get this, right? You finally become your your true self, your best self. I've become my true form. A 40-year-old woman who loves stuffy animals. <laughs> Look at this one. She's like holding on for dear life. Is it silly or is it awesome? It's both. I'm just now realizing I only have to buy one headband and then I can just buy all the characters and swap them out. That's smart. Well, yeah, that's the point. They're Velcro, so you, you could just take them on and off. Yeah. Yeah. I just noticed that the Duffy and Friends chocolate are shaped like the characters. So each square is like a different character. I feel like they're killing the Duffy merch here. Like, I feel like it's almost better than it was in Tokyo. Is that crazy to say? They have keyboards and mouses by Duffy and Friends keyboard and mouses. Oh, this is for like makeup or something. I feel like this is a necessity. Sure, look at these bowls. You could have like Dale <laughs> inside your bowl. That's Chip. Oh, that's... Oh my God, Peter, thank you. No, it says Dale right there. It says Dale. What are you talking about? Oh. Wow, I'm a fake fan. I'm jet lagged, so leave me alone. Hey, what is that around your neck? I found this light up necklace with all the characters. Cute. You brought that to California. You, everybody would be so jealous. They would. They'd be like, what is that? Why are you wearing it? There was a lot more merch here than we expected. When we ran out of time, we got to go to the other hotel to grab our lunch reservation. So we're going to head out and we, we'll come back and show you some more. We're doing it for you. We're doing it to show you and not because we're curious and Kip is going to buy it all. So we're going to Disneyland Hotel and to get there, we need to take a bus a cool Duffy bus <laughs> over to the transportation center and then wait for a resort shuttle. And by the way, they have some cool seats here while you wait for the bus. Like, why don't they do that in Florida or Disneyland? It seems like such an easy thing to do. 
and they're like pretty comfortable too. It's like a mini Grand Floridian. That's so funny. Look at the statue. This hotel definitely feels like a smaller version of the Grand Floridian at Walt Disney World. There's music playing, it's elegant, I love it. We're getting lunch today at the Crystal Lotus at the Disneyland Hotel and we're getting the Duffy and Friends dim sum lunch. It was about $50 each, we have reservations and it's like a set menu that they bring out for you. So this is gonna be fun. We're starting things off with a chilled shredded chicken with purple yam and tangerine salad. And I like that it has like a little hidden Mickey there. Very refreshing, a nice way to start things off. Give it a three out of five, Peters. Next up we have Mickey's seafood pancake. It is so cute. It almost looks like a Mickey waffle. And it comes with some like spicy sauce, I'm guessing, to dip it in. You always gotta eat his ear first, right? That's the rule. That is the rule. I don't make the rules, okay? This almost tastes like a little Mickey hash brown filled with seafood. It's just a golden brown, deliciously cooked potato. And then the sauce, I was right, is a little bit spicy, but in a good way. It just enhances the flavors. Give it a five out of five. I mean, come on. So one of the special things about this dim sum is you can actually get bows shaped like the characters. And we got a set here with Tigger, Piglet, and Pooh and I think I'm gonna eat Tigger first. Now, Tigger is a pork and vegetable bun. He's like... <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> yeah, how cute is he? Oh my gosh. Okay. We gotta eat his ear first, right? So these are like a little small. They're almost like a bite size. You can almost like eat it all in one bite, but it's juicy in the center. It's a little fluffy on the outside. I actually got caught in my teeth while I was <laughs> chewing it, but they're so cute. I think if they weren't themed, I'd give it like a three and a half out of five, but because they are themed, it gets an extra Peter, so it's four and a half out of five. <laughs> How cute is this piglet seafood and chicken bun? The reason why we got the extra Winnie the Pooh bun in here is because Peter requested that he doesn't eat seafood, so we're getting like a special one in there, which I think is just chicken, but this one itself is seafood and chicken and it is so freaking cute. You're totally right, these are bite sized, they're so small. One more bite and Piglet's gonna be gone. But I agree with you, I think flavor wise, they're probably like a three or three and a half. Not the most amazing, you know, dim sum that we've had on our Hong Kong trip so far, but because of cuteness, <laughs> it's like a four and a half. Yeah. Next up is the scallop soup, and this reminds me of almost like a hot and sour soup or like an egg drop soup. Just by looking at it, I have no idea what it's gonna taste like, but it's like, has a very thick consistency to it. Very subtle, you can't really taste the scallops that much, but it just adds like a little bit of extra flavor. It's definitely like an egg soup that you would get back home. I love that. I'll give it a four out of five. Oh my God. It's good, right? So good. So they end up giving me a corn and chicken version of this soup, and it's so good, it so hearty. Good. <laughs> I'd give this a five out of five. Yes. It's kind of a chilly day today too, so it's like perfect for a chilly yeah. day. It's a soup day. Yeah, I think I've come to realize that corn chowder might be my favorite kind of soup. Yeah, I just took a, a little sip of his soup. Delicious. They're both good. Good soup. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. The next course is fried shrimp with mushrooms. And if you notice, we have Mike Wazowski's eyes staring up at us. I forget what he said that was, like a tomato or something? Or I don't know, I'll find out when I try it. Always watching. Oh my god, you're right. Literally, literally. <laughs> I'm watching.
watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. Ooh, she's nuts. This is so good, very simple. It is just a wok fried shrimp with some vegetables. So I'm not exactly sure like what kind of vegetable this is. I thought it was a tomato at first, but it's not. It's really good. It's almost like kind of buttery. I don't know. It has some nice flavor to it. it. Adds a lot to the dish. I feel bad eating it though. I've never had this type of mushroom before. It almost kind of reminds me of like a sun-dried tomato or something. It's so flavorful. Like when you mix everything together, this is a great little dish. They made a version of this with chicken instead of shrimp for me, and the mushrooms actually give this a lot of flavor. Yeah. I enjoy it. I don't know why the American parks are so afraid to like be elegant in a dining room like this and make things themed. Yeah. Because I love that they're just like, eh, we'll just put a Mike Wazowski on your plate. <laughs> and next up, they have brought over a dish that is Wagyu fried rice with pumpkin and konpoi. I got mine without the konpoi, but I like that Donald's legs are sticking out of the fried rice. Even like that dish, they've made it themed. <laughs> it was funny, he brought it over and he's like, you'll notice Donald's feet sticking out. I was like, oh, I noticed. Yeah. We're like, okay. we noticed right away. <laughs> we noticed. Just a nice classic fried rice. I'd give it like a four out of five feeders. Well, you are a fried rice connoisseur, right? <laughs> that is true. Every time we order Chinese food, I have to get fried rice. Kitchen's like, no, I'll just take white rice and put soy sauce. And like, <laughs> you need the fried rice. You need the egg, you need the meat. Wait, are Donald's feet the egg? What are Donald's feet made out of? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. It's a little sweet. Oh. Chili maple with with almond with a sesame dumpling. Thank you. Cute. And lastly for dessert, we have a Shelly May dumpling with a lotus seed puree and a sweet almond soup with egg white and rice dumplings. Sounds delicious. <laughs> I don't know if it quite looks like Shelly May, but like I love it no matter what. Like, does that look like Shelly May to you? It does. It does? Okay. It's so cute. Okay, I guess I'll, I guess I have to eat her though. She has eyelashes like our friend Ashley. <laughs> You're right, she does. So I just realized that we're at the Crystal Lotus and this has lotus seed puree. It kind of tastes like sesame. Very good, a little bit like a nutty flavor, not super sweet, but it's surprisingly good. I'm shocked. Let's try the, the little soup here. So I have a few thoughts. First of all, it's warm. Was not expecting that for some reason. I thought it was gonna be like a chilled soup, but it's warm. And then the rice balls kind of like, they're chewy, but they also kind of like explode in your mouth at the same time. Not quite like a boba, but like just exploding with flavor. The, the flavor profile is very similar to the Shelly made dumpling. So the girl sitting next to us got this whole spread of dumplings. And I guess if you order 24 hours in advance, you could specify how many you want, what you want. They have like a whole list of stuff and she got like a little duffy one too. I The way that I like freaked out when it they all came to her table, I was like, oh my God, she's getting so many. Like the baskets just kept opening, like awesome. I'm happy with what we got, but like that is so cool that you could do that. Of course I find Kitra in the gift shop. Yeah, look at these scrunchies. Does it look cool? Yes. There's so much Frozen merch here, but I think we're going to show that in our Frozen video. Yeah, we're going to have a whole Frozen video. Don't worry. <laughs> Why do they look like that? They're so cute. Why do they look like that? I love the, the respect that Chippendale get overseas. And this one right here is like, look at my butt. <laughs> I see. I'm always sleeping. You know that meme that like, if I win the lottery, I won't oh. tell anybody, but there'll be signs. Be signs. This yeah. is you. This right is here. me. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. You can even make your own Duffy and Friends popsicles. So for the make your own headband, they have some characters we didn't see at the other hotel. Snow White, Ant-Man, Ariel, and uh, oh, the ducks, Bounder. I have to admit, I'm surprised at how much of the hotel gift shops are Duffy and Friends merch. It like seems like even more than in Tokyo Disney parks. It's insane.
Yep. Yeah. He said, you're on the first floor. On the Disney Cruise Lines, they have a restaurant called the Enchanted Garden. They have a restaurant like that here. That's interesting. Wonder which came first. <laughs> Probably the, actually, I don't know. Good yeah, I hear they have a lot of problems with the insects and stuff here, really? so they, they offer free off. Oh, I, spray myself? I mean, it, it's probably cool. So in the back of this hotel, they have a hedge maze, which is a little bit low, so you can kind of cheat and see above, but it's still cool nonetheless. I still bet we'll, we'd get lost. Should we attempt it? Let's try. very back of the hotel. Yeah, you're met with the ocean. Pretty cool. There's people fishing out here. <laughs> yeah, why are people fishing over there? I don't know. It's probably locals and it's like a good spot to fish, maybe? That's my guess. This is just incredible. You leave the hotel and then you're just in this tropical paradise. I mean, I know it's overcast, but still. There's a Duffy and Friends umbrella. That's what it looks like. You need it. I do. Why are they in a watermelon? I don't know, but that's so cute. I'm just gonna have to buy both headbands and both umbrellas. I just figured out that you could actually pose him. So like, you could change his arms and like move him around. Okay, I found something cool for me. This is the Magician Mickey, and you can put stuff inside it. I might have to get this, even though it's gonna be a pain in the butt to bring home. There's also this, it's like a mirror. He's holding a mirror. I don't know what that has to do with him being a magician, though. They have some items that you could like bring home, like food. I found a bunch of gummies. Remember in Tokyo, they had like so many? They don't really have that many here. <laughs> Slippers. I can't figure out what size they are. I want to get them. Okay, we're back at the hotel and we finally got our room assigned. So we're gonna go check that out right now. Oh wow, look at this elevator. Oh wow. It's so themed. I feel like we're about to go to the journey to the center of the earth in this. I know. <laughs> oh, on this side it's supposed to be like an air balloon or something? Yeah. This is the closest Seven I'll ever get to an air balloon. Seven floor. How pretty. Look at the view from up here. Here we are, room 7268, right by the elevator. Oh my god, what did you do? Did you do this? Yes. Peter, what is, what is this? Honey, <laughs> what is this? What does it say? It says, let's celebrate. I love you, honey, Peter. Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm not sharing these. Wow. What? What is all this stuff? Uh, <laughs> a rug? Did you know it came with all this stuff? Yeah, you get special slippers. Open the slipper. Let's celebrate. And I got balloons and everything. Awesome, cool. <laughs> I was gonna buy slippers in the store too. Some hangers. <laughs> Okay, I didn't know it came with hangers. Oh my gosh, this is like a um, headband thing. But I think the best thing here are these balloons. Let's celebrate, Duffy. <laughs> Amazing, thank you. And also on the, the window here. Are we gonna keep that up the whole time? Yes. <laughs> All right, now let's start the room tour. Here's our occupied sign. I like it, it's very adventurous. Yeah, and then this room, you actually have to put your key, key in the wall in order for the lights to work. Yeah. Kind of like a cruise ship. This beautiful full length mirror. I think we might have an accessible room because it's like very oh, really? wide right here. I don't know. Yeah, there's a huge closet. We could put our suitcases right here, hang our clothes if we wanted. Oh, look at this mural. Oh, that's so cute. 
Look at this whole little coffee area. We have an espresso machine. And I think what this is, we had this in our other hotel in Hong Kong. I think this is just for purified water. Oh, really? I think. Like you can make hot water or just have like cold water. That's a really nice touch. I wish more hotels had this. Right over here we have the bathroom area. I do like the open concept. Now I'm really wondering if this is a handicap room or not. I don't know. No idea. But it's nice. It feels so open. Now we have a big shower. Actually, it probably isn't accessible because there is a lift there to get in. I don't think that would be there. And then, oh, they still got H2O here. Oh it's even more. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. Let's do a, a toilet check. That wasn't a very adventurous flash. I'd, I'd give it like a two out of five. A two? Yeah. Like it's a three for me. We've got some towels up there. Here's an Explorer's Lodge amenities kit. This is something that, like they did in Tokyo, comes with like everything that you would need. Razor, toothbrush, toothpaste. We got some cups, we got some towels. Yeah, extra stuff down here. Here's hair dryer. Hair dryer, there's a makeup mirror. I like this room so far. And then we have two gigantic beds. Wait a second, do we what? have a mini? Uh, oh, yeah, probably. Yep, a little mini fridge down here. It's a tiny, oh. Oh, if you want stuff, I guess they could bring it to you. Huh. Interesting. Oh, and there's like a little drawer down here that fills up. Oh, <gasps> oh my yeah. god. Okay, so we have PJs and slippers just like in Tokyo. I did not expect that. Neither did I. What's in here? Ooh, tea. Okay, even the napkins are themed. And our room comes with two queen size beds. And I like that they have like Mickey and Minnie and wood carving above. I have it so cool. Look at the lanterns though. The side table light yeah, lights. Those are cool. It's like we're actually exploring. Let's see over here, the middle console. We got a little drawer. Oh, look. Oh, a the... comment card, an adventure, adventure log. log. That's cute. And we got a phone and it looks like we got an outlet. Yeah, and I we actually went to the gift shop and I bought some stuff and you get like $10 off discount coupons just for staying here. Well, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I don't think I showed how cool these balloons were. <laughs> Wait, do the pink ones have Shelly Mae on them? I don't know. They yeah. do. By the way, those don't normally come with the room. You have to pay extra for like a package like that. It was well worth it. And then here we have the curtains, which I have shot because it just ruins the light for the video. And there's a desk over here. Oh, next to the desk is like a chair that looks almost like a drum or something from Africa. And right above the desk is some tissues and a mirror. And we will not be working here on this trip. Yeah, sorry, but maybe I'll do my, my makeup there. That's how I look this flawless in the morning. We got a TV. Yeah, anything else exciting? Probably not. Probably not? Oh. Ooh, more pillows. What I'm really curious about is our hotel in Tokyo was extremely firm. The Japanese love their beds firm, as far as I can tell. We gotta do the bed check. Beds are a little firm, but I still don't think they're as bad as in Tokyo, and they're pretty comfy to me right now, so I'm tired. I can confirm the beds are a little firm. Uh, we booked a sea view room, which means that if you look out the window, you can actually see the sea. So we paid a little bit more for that. And I've been told that the rooms, the decor in the room, the artifacts hanging and stuff, change depending on which wing. And as you, we mentioned earlier, the wings are divided by like different countries and stuff. Well, this is it, the first floor. You know. You. So this hotel has like a bunch of different gardens, each themed after the different areas. Oh, okay. Let's go walk around a little. It's cold. It got colder. It's a little chilly out. We took a little little rest and now it's cold out. And I read online that there's over 700 species of plants to create these gardens. It's weird. It's kind of like you're walking around the safari around Animal Kingdom Lodge, but there is no safari, right? Like you're just like here, walking around. Garden from 
Kevin, and I gotta say, why does Kevin have like this little racetrack? <laughs> I don't understand what's going on here. Inside of the resort is so beautiful, and the outside is well landscaped, but it just doesn't seem like they knew what they were gonna use it for. There's like a lot of like areas for people to sit and hang out, but there's not a lot of people doing that. Well, it is still winter. It's cold out here. I could see it during the summer, like if this yeah. was like a packed resort. But like this whole car thing seems so shoehorned in. I mean, if I was young, I'd be down. No, I mean, it's cool. But it's not even like go-kart. It's like, you gotta like, it's like a tricycle yeah. that you gotta do yourself, which is like. But it just oh, doesn't man. fit into the like, the, the theme of adventure and exploration. Who knows? Yeah. I like it though. We're on our way back to the room and we stopped by the Chart Room Cafe because they have some delicious looking desserts that are all amazingly themed after Duffy and Mickey. They have a bunch of little cakes and mousses and stuff. But what caught my eye is the house made gelato sundae. And this has a scoop of vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate ice cream with popcorn, a waffle cone, sprinkles, a Mickey chocolate chocolate syrup, strawberries, kiwis, blueberries. You know, there was no description. I just thought it looked cute and I wanted a little sweet treat. So I, I decided to get it. I didn't realize there was like all this like caramel popcorn on the bottom. It looks like they put the kitchen sink in this. They threw yes. everything but the kitchen sink. Yes. <laughs> and I am excited. I've never had peaches on a Sunday before. I love Neapolitan ice cream. And this is basically that, but in gelato form. I love all the fresh fruit on top. This is a five out of five. With that chocolate drizzle on top and rainbow sprinkles. Do you want any of this? I wasn't planning to share, but. I'm kind of full, actually. I know, he was like, I'm too full for dessert. <laughs> I order like the biggest dessert on the menu. <laughs> and with that, we're gonna call it a night, but guess what? Tomorrow, we're going to Hong Kong Disneyland for the first time ever. Yes! Oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes! So we got to get our beauty rest so we wake up nice and refreshed for Hong Kong Disneyland. So if you aren't subscribed, hit subscribe below because you're not going to want to miss this. And we'll put our videos from the rest of our trip right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Kent, Kendall, and Eric. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. From Hong Kong Disneyland. Yeah.